It has been more than six years since the Colleen family saw their lives torn apart. An eight-month-old in the care of a babysitter left to drown. Now the woman convicted of his death who only received probation wants her probation cut in half. 25 News reporter Jarrell Baker has more. Hi, Grandma. <laughs> yeah. It was just too short. You know, we, we didn't get to see him crawl or like walk, take his first steps. We didn't get to see his first birthday. We didn't get to see any of his life. More than six years have passed since Aaron Griffith lost her grandson, Landon Rasmussen. Landon was only eight months when he drowned in a bathtub in Colleen in 2017. We all came to the hospital and Destiny held him in her arms and they took the, the breathing tube out and he, he took his last breath. <laughs> The babysitter, Rebecca Estrada, who pled guilty to a second-degree felony of injury to a child and admitted leaving the child alone in the bathtub, was sentenced to 10 years of deferred adjudication, also known as probation. She could, if she fails the terms of her probation, go to jail. But at the end of her 10 years probation, it drops from her, her file. She has no record of anything happening. In June, Estrada's attorney filed a motion to cut her sentence to five years, saying she's paid all court costs, restitution, and probation fees, and also saying that the case is interfering with her ability to find a job. We've already got no justice, and now you're trying to cut it even shorter. Like, it's just, it's not fair to my family. It makes us feel like she and the judge and the lawyer gave my grandson no, his life no value at all. That's why the family is now starting a petition to stop that from happening. My daughter, you know, I don't know if this will help at all, but she's put together a petition on change.org um, within the last 24 hours. She's already um, garnered over 1,200 signatures. Griffith says her family wants Estrada to serve her full sentence. The court date is set for September 14th. In Colleen, Jarrell Baker, 25 News. <laughs> Now, typically, misdemeanor probation can last up to two years. Felony probation can last up to 10 years in Texas. To be eligible for early termination of probation, you must complete one-third of your sentence or two years, whichever is less. Also, in the Lone Star State, early termination is not allowed for charges relating to alcohol or sex offenders.